Hi everyone, it's day 14 in my journey to alignment. Marty Braden here. I'm sitting in my office tonight here in Bountiful, Utah, recording once again my daily video entry for my journey to alignment. Before I get too far into this entry, I wanted to take a moment to show you two things. I don't know if you can see this, here's Kathleen's Airbnb to-do list that she uh, recently put together. Uh, it's one that I talked about in one of my earlier entries. And it's her list for her dream of a nice Airbnb room. As you can see, there's a column. Let me read this here. There's a column that says work. Uh, set up queen bed with frames. Set up desk and guest room. Vacuum stairs and landing. Vacuum main floor carpets. Print guest guide sheets. Hang pictures of... Uh, a uh, lovely picture on the wall, deep clean uh, guest room. Of course, she had to empty all that before she could do any of this. Deep clean oven and fridge, uh, deep junk, mop my uh, main towel, and it goes on and on. Then it does over here on repairs. Finish hole around ceiling fan, secured um, doors, remove small wood strips, level close, install uh, front uh, door threshold, adjust door to be tight, install uh, the fan, repair the top. Anyway, it's just a lot of things, supplies. Guest bathroom hair dryer, guest gift basket, guest room decorative towel, bad, you know, the t table, excuse me, the uh, chair, the lamps, the uh, blankets, the shit. I mean, it just went on and on and on for everything. In the work column, like I said, a lot of it I did, a lot of she did, but she's the one that kicked it off and got it going. As you can see uh, by this list, there were a number of pieces that showed up in the mind in her mind and mine that ultimately came through the portal of our minds into our Airbnb physical room. Each piece that came through the portal of our minds was proof that we were in fact achieving that goal. And ultimately after a month or so we completed and achieved that goal. I just think it's a, a perfect example of how simply um, how simple the entire concept of the law of attraction and manifestation really is. Anyone who gets it from seeing this little example and all the other ones that I've shared so far should be saying to themselves, I believe it's possible. I believe it's possible to own my dream home. It's possible to get out of debt. It's possible to land a better, higher paying job than I have now. I love myself. It's possible. I've learned that all I need to do is decide on what I want from a thought of abundance and put it down on paper. Then find a visual picture that inspires a movie in my mind to visually see what I desire so it can start playing in my mind. Then you just have to take some time and break it down into small pieces that you can believe in, that you can add to your daily list of to-dos. And then start getting after it. Start doing the work that it takes to get those pieces Small pieces, one at a time. That's why you don't have the whole hell of an elephant sit on your face. You just have a little bite. Little pieces in your mind that you put down on your list and start uh, getting out so that they can start coming through the portal of your mind and they'll arrive in your world of the physical just like uh, a UPS box or an Amazon package lands on your porch because it was scheduled a few days ago and boom, there it was. Here's another example where I've started to bring pieces of my social dream and goal I talked about and set at the end of last year. If you remember, I said I would print off or get a calendar. So I'm going to show you this beautiful calendar right here. Got some big pictures and some fun things. Excuse me for a minute. I dropped a sheet of paper. I think it's important. Oh, okay. So as you can see, uh, there's a calendar, a lot of room. There's one uh, football date that we had. Here's my list of people that I want to uh, associate with this year. Uh, Lindsay and Jared Witt's neighbors, Tanner and Rebecca Braden, my son and his new bride, Zed Braden, the geek came on the football game, Adam and Whitney Braden, this cute little couple that has a, a, our grandson called Huxley. We want them to come over and stay the night, and on and on and on. That's exciting. I type those uh, names up and I put it in that calendar. Well, guess what? A couple of days ago, I have to tell you, a dear friend stopped by and gave Kathleen and I that calendar. It was just a few days after 2020 started. Can you believe? It's perfect for what I wanted to use it for. I'm usually not a print calendar, hang on the wall kind of person, but for the goal I had set and what I wanted to achieve this year, it's a perfect calendar. It's a perfect piece of my goal that showed up. Now, these are physical things that were thoughts, ideas, and just goals that Kathleen and I had, or I had, here and there, 
and they be, are physical things now in my world of the physical. And so I'm now that much closer to accomplishing that goal and keeping it going on all year long of socializing and having fun. I now know that there's going to be a lot of blessings that come to us as we enjoy this goal and keep our commitments throughout the year, all year long. Anyway, I had to show you those pieces of a couple of my dreams that have already come through the portal into the world of my dreams being physical. At the end of the day yesterday, I decided also that my power statement would be, I will be read really careful to not get so fast in my typing and filling out, uh, typing out files so that I wouldn't delete something that I shouldn't and that was important and cause a bunch of extra time. And that's what I um, had for today. So I was really careful uh, tonight not typing too fast when I did my notes for this video. I can get excited about what I'm experiencing, as you can tell, and I want to capture it down on paper and not forget anything, and so my fingers get going sometimes too fast. But tonight, I slowed way down in typing, uh, and by doing that, I found that my thoughts did in fact slow down just enough too for me, just a little bit, so I could capture everything and get it on my um, type notes. So it's all good. I'm doing... Uh, uh, excuse me. The first question that uh, end of the day success routine asks you to ask yourself is, what could I have done better today? And how would I rate my day considering all that I got done and some things that I didn't get done? Well, in reflecting back on all that I did and experienced today, I have to say that I could have been more grateful and expressed even more than I did those feelings of thanks and gratitude. I seem to find that I get wrapped up in the details of it all and I move on to the next task pretty quickly once I get one done. And the opportunity to give thanks to whomever or whatever that I feel impressed passes me by. The fact that I'm thinking about it now though and, and finding myself um, lacking in this virtue, it's made me, um, Number one, aware of this success principle more, and I recognize I need to sink deeper into my, it needs to sink deeper into my psyche so that it becomes a habit. It seems to be more of an afterthought right now for me than a quality character trait that I want to have. So I want to really um, look for the opportunities to be more grateful. So hopefully you'll hear me saying that more as these video journal entries happen. Now, what went well or what did I do well today? Uh, did I do those things that got, the, the things that I got today, did they move uh, into the world of the physical? Even if it was just pieces, did they come through? Well, as you can tell, yes, they did. Absolutely. And because I was able to see several pieces come through the portal today, I feel that the one thing that will have the greatest impact on my day tomorrow and make it a great day, day, day and I put this into the form of a power statement, is I will reflect and imagine my big goals and see them completed in my mind. And when I do, I will be grateful that I can see them in this way. In other words, I will see visual pre-played movies of how they look as finished goals and dreams, and I'll be grateful for them. Pre-playing these goals in my mind visually each morning, just for a few minutes, such as seeing me socialize with my son Adam and his wife Whitney. And as they arrive to our home and come through our front door, and Kathy and I give them a great big hug, and we say, so happy to have you here. And then seeing myself grab Adam's uh, suitcases or whatever and take him right up to the bedroom for him so they he can come and see and have a nice, relaxing walk up the stairs, and they can see the beautiful room, and we say, Get settled and let's come down and have some uh, lunch or whatever. Man, oh man, that generates real excitement and energy in me when I visualize these things. Energy that can, uh, can and does spur me on to get after it, to do my list so I can watch its pieces one at a time coming through the portal into my mind first and then through my portal of my mind into the world of the physical. I could describe each goal this way and share what I see in my mind's eye in both vibrational mind's eye and the subconscious mind's eye so that uh, you get it and that I get it. Um, the clear idea of what support materials I'm needing and the evidence I'm needing, it's starting to give those two minds exactly out of habit now. And I can be specific and launch those off and they go out looking for it and sure enough, they bring them back. But I can talk about all of this more in some other video entries. I could go on it forever. So I will say this though, 
I have a vision of visiting with our neighbors, the DeWitts, and breaking bread with them for an evening here and there throughout 2020, where Kathleen and I just uh, talk with them and enjoy their company and learn what's happened to them throughout the year or that month, and just enjoy time with good friends and good neighbors. Another goal I can see in my mind is finding some great video series on YouTube that go over the brain or mind, and, and, and I can see me taking notes on it uh, when I learn something that I like writing it down as ideas uh, and asking where do those ideas come from and what are they made of and what they actually are and then pondering on all those points and thoughts and then writing about it uh, putting it down in my journaling when I have my um, journaling time in the morning it's just great this is breaking uh, my goals down into pieces so that I can see me doing them and then Break it down, see it actually happening and how it happened. Some pieces can be ridiculously small and should be, and that's okay. In fact, it may be the best way for some of these bigger goals. For example, I can see me 75 to 100 pounds lighter. I can, and that's because I have a picture of when I was that weight. Of course it's possible. I have lots of pictures where I'm a heavier than I am now. I've been a real fatty in times past, so I'm not as fat as I used to be, but I can certainly get thinner. And yes, I was and am 100% responsible for that. But I know it's absolutely possible to lose those 75 pounds. With this win the day, win the morning routine I've started and that I've been doing for 14 days now, I've been doing incredibly small, ridiculously small tasks. And when you add them up, <laughs> can't believe it. I've been exercising. I really didn't know I, uh, that it made, uh, I clicked the, uh, link and bought this program, I didn't know I made the decision to exercise when I decided to write out the win the morning, win the day routine after listening to the first audios and I started to do it. Getting up and out of bed quickly, slapping my face with cold water to wake me up, making the bed immediately, breathing in and fast and then breathing out slow. Now do it again. Stretch my arms high as I focus on my breathing and gratitude and exhaling resistance and doing it for 20 seconds. Bringing my arms down to a prayer pose and being centered and, and, and being present. Repeating this a couple of times. Now swing my arms in a hugging pose back and forth for 20 seconds. Doing a high to, uh, a toe touch and a high reach um, for 20 seconds, about 10 times. Pow, I couldn't believe it. I was exercising and didn't even realize it. After about a week, I was doing the end of the win, you know, the end of the day and win the morning and win the day routine dynamic exercise steps for 20 minutes. I couldn't, and that's a little routine that I put together. I designed for myself that I was trying to be kind to myself. And now after two weeks, I'm actually doing 20 minutes of leg lifts, sit-ups, weight. You know, I have weights, weighted arm curls, and I'm loving it. I haven't even started weighing myself, but the, the sweats that I, but well, I'll tell you, the sweats that I wear for my morning routine after getting up real quick are a little looser now. I may have to get a new set of uh, sweats before too long, and I, that's okay. Way to go, Marty. You're awesome. You're a winner. I haven't gone and bought me a bike yet, though, and Kathleen and I haven't started to walk together, but these goals are moving up on my goals to-do list, and I'm thinking about their pieces and how I will bring them through uh, my, my mind, the portal of my mind, through these daily to-do tasks, and I hope to get this laid out before the week's out. As you can probably tell, I'm getting really excited about the big goals happening. I'm seeing myself like a movie on my vibrational movie screen, that vibrational mind and that subconscious mind is something else. It has this ability to project the future on a screen. I'm wearing smaller clothes. I'm not getting tired when I walk a lot now, and so I'm looking forward to walking with Kathleen, and I'm seeing myself even jogging. I know, that sounds crazy, but I do. I see in my mind's eye walking. I'm not quite there action-wise, yet my three minds, uh, I guess, are having a little trouble with that, aligning themselves, but they're not having trouble with me saying, I believe it's possible. I'm continually going to the movies in my mind where I'm seeing it, and that's helped me get excited. I'm imagining it, maybe another way of saying it. I'm pre-playing my successes that way. Myself doing it is possible. And so I'm going to continue on and it'll move into the need and then I'll have it. Today I had the same start to my day this morning as I did for the last 13 days now. I had three really big goals that I wanted to finish on my to-do list. 
One was finishing listening to Croy's audios and taking notes of them, of all the promises he made on them, uh, if we would listen to and put them into action. Well, my second one was taking notes all day today so that I'm prepared to type up a good uh, list of things to talk to you about tonight in my video journal entry. And my third one was finish the day strong so that I am prepared to have the best day I've ever had so far as I've been putting the um, instant manifestation secrets into practice. This is all part of my breaking down my four major goals for 2020. The biggest question I'm facing regarding one of those big goals is how am I going to get to the place where I'm earning $30,000 a month by the end of the year? That's a good question. I know it sounds incredible. I believe it's possible. So I've done some work um, to help me get that starting to break down my mind. And I can say unequivocally, I believe it's possible. In fact, I know it's be possible because I've already achieved this goal four years ago. I made over $30,000 a month for just under two years straight. The The year or two before that I was making $21,000 a month and for the last year I was with the company it was over $43,000 a month so I've been there I have some sense of that so I know it's going to take me a little more time this time around after I break these three goals into the tiny pieces that I believe I can do it on a daily basis and because I was off on the timing of some of them I wasn't able to finish any of the the pieces and getting that list together today and that's okay this happens a lot we don't get some things done, we don't get them all finished, or we might even misjudge the timing on some things, but some of the pieces have already been put on my to-do list, and I've already started to see them come through the portal of my mind, and they're now in the world of the physical, and so I know the rest of those pieces will in fact come through that portal of my mind into the world of the physical for 2020 as I check them off, little bites at a time. As an example, I had the thought that I needed to get Croy's promises off the audios and onto paper where I could see them daily. I talked to you about that, didn't I? This way I thought they would keep my desire going. That's one piece of a much bigger goal. I have finished listening to several of the audios and I've taken notes as I've listened to them and that's another piece of this goal coming into the world of the physical too. I've even taken what I had written down on a sheet of paper before I was going to type them up and here's that sheet of paper. Here's the list that I did. It's two pages. You can see up here it says promises and then I was taking notes and I had another page. I just got to get it now down on a typed up so it's visually clean and looks great. Uh, the end of the day success routine notes. Um, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, the, the, my, let me do this though. Let me show you a, a, a sample of my daily to-do list. I, I'm the old school. I, I write down, put a little check mark and, and box and mark it off. I use a notepad. Now, I know there's other ways uh, technologically to do it, but for me, this is the quickest. I'm writing it out. And writing it out does something neat to me and because and, it builds up this list. And when I check the box and scratch through it, I'm telling you, it does something to my mind. It's just a, a great way. And then when I get the list done, I wad it up and throw it out. And I feel like that's a physical thing that came, I mean, it was a mental thing that came right out and became a physical throwaway. I got it done. So, but I'm not perfect at this yet. And it does seem a bit chaotic right now to me. But as I hone in on this process and tighten up, you know, tighten up my full day's routine and, and getting these steps done right, I know I'm going to get better and better at all of this. And my mind's portal in no time will be shooting out pieces of my dreams and goals all day long and even when I'm sleeping and I'll talk about that another time anyway here's the last question I want to answer for my daily accountability routine of doing video journals like I'm doing here tonight what will I do better tomorrow well I've been thinking about this all day long and this seems to be something that I'm starting to do automatically all day now it's really amazing and I can tell you this I know that when all of this aligns in my three minds and it becomes one series of habits, look out, I'm going to be a goal achieving machine. To close, here's my power statement for tomorrow. I'm going to start strong tomorrow because I did a great job of setting the table with my to-do list tonight. I'm going to stay strong all day long as I do work and check off all the tasks on my list and scratch through it and then wad that list at the end of the day. I'm going to end strong by moving even more of my top three goals pieces through the portal of my mind all day long into my world of the physical before the end of the week on some of these unfinished tasks. That's it. As you can probably guess, I think this was a fantastic day. 
I'm giving it a 9 on my scale from 1 to 10. I've only given myself 1 10 so far out of the 14 days, but today was close to a 10, and I know tomorrow it's going to be even better. And so I'll see you tomorrow night, and until then, I wish you all the success and achieving of all the dreams you hope for, because it is possible. Good night.